What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. And today I'm going to go over a lot of things related to offensive play calling here in NBA 2K22. So I'm going to go over some settings. I'm going to go over how to call plays, the favorite plays feature, play priorities, how to call for a pick and roll, how to call a freelance as well as a series. And I'm going to show you how to do all of this on both next gen and current gen. So with that being said, let's get into it. So first we have settings. You can do this from the main menu or in game. But if you do the from the menu, you go to features and then go to coach settings here in the game. I'm in scrimmage mode, so I go to substitution, but um, you have to go to game plan and then go to coach settings. So adaptive coaching engine, I turn that off. Timeout, player minutes, subs. I put all of that on manual, um, but for offensive play vision, you I put that on all plays and so it'll show you the diagram on the court like it'll show all the arrows whether if the computer called the play itself or you called the play manually it'll show the the play art for all plays play vision display i put that on full so it'll give you all of the arrows on the court as you can see right here i can just call a play it'll show you um or freelancers as well so it'll show you all the arrows where everybody's supposed to be where you're supposed to go we supposed to dribble to we pass it to it'll show you all of that stuff play call messages i put that on show all and what that does is it'll show you the name of the play that's running so if you're running a series and you don't know which play is running it'll show you at the top right of the screen it can also be helpful if you know you're using a freelance It'll show you that the freelance is running instead of a play. Or if you have um, automatic plays on, it'll show the name of the play that's running. So if you look at the top, the top right, I, you can press up on a D-pad to put that up there. And I can call a play. And it'll show at the top right. I call the floppy. Offensive and defensive play calling. I put that on manual. Communication, I mean, like, it doesn't really matter. That's personal preference. I guess it can be helpful for defense only. Actually, yeah, I actually might turn that on. And freelance series order. So um, this is for a series when you use a series. So you can have it uh, static or dynamic. So static means that it'll go in a, a specific order every single time. And dynamic means that it'll be random and or repeat you can repeat on success or do not repeat so if a play from a series works then if you have it on repeat on success it'll run that same play again until you don't score and then it'll go to a different one but if you just put it on do not repeat whether you score or not is going to go to the next play in the series so now i'm gonna show you how to call a play i'm on next gen xbox so i'll press lb but if you're on playstation it'll be l1 and you'll see these icons pop up and then just press the button of the player that you want to call the play for and then use the triggers to cycle through the pages of the playbook and the d-pad to go up and down and then a to pick a play so now i'm on current gen and it's a little bit different so again i'll still press lb but then i press rb for positional play calling and then i press the button of the player that i want to call the play for and I still use the triggers to cycle through the pages, but I don't have to use the D-pad to scroll up and down for a certain play. Each play has a designated button. So if you want to call a play, there's a lot of buttons you have to press, which can get confusing. And it's something that I really don't like doing, especially if I'm in the middle of a game. So I use the favorite plays feature a lot, and this allows you to call plays a lot faster. And you can also assign it to a certain player so that every time you call a certain play, it'll run for that player every single time. And you can also use it to run a play for somebody that doesn't have access to a certain play by default. So in order to do that, you want to pause the game. If you're in a real game, you'll go to game plan. But since I'm in scrimmage mode, I go to substitution and go to offensive settings and play selection. You can also adjust this for the starters and the bench, but you go in. I usually keep isolation, floppy, and post up. 
and I'll press X or square to remove the rest and then press A and then pick whatever plays that you want to put in. So I'm going to just pick a couple random plays. I don't even know what these plays do, but um, and then you can press Y. And this assigns the a certain play to this a certain player. So this quick Iverson play, I signed it to Drew Holiday. So every time I run this play, it'll run for Drew Holiday. And if we go into the game, I'll press left on the D-pad. And as you can see right there, my favorite plays pop up. And I'll just pick whatever play I want on next gen. It'll, it'll look like it got stuck. Say like I'm spamming down and it's still at floppy. It'll it'll go down. It just doesn't show you. So I guess that's, that's a bug that this got did it. I guess that's just a bug they'll have to fix. A visual bug or like if you close it and then put it back it'll work but yeah so right there it gets it gets stuck again but it'll still run quick iverson circle so right here even though i'm, I'm spamming down it'll still run a quick post up so even though you don't see it it's it's still there it's just a visual glitch so current gen is pretty much the same thing offensive settings play selection you can remove some of these, add the ones you want. I'm, I'm noticing that the playbooks are different. Add some random ones. And again, you could do the same thing, assign plays to certain players. And you'll press left bumper or L1 and favorite plays are right there. Boom. So now I'm going to talk about play priorities and how they can affect play calling. So play priorities are basically what determines the type of plays that a player has access to. So right here, I'm on current gen and I started up a play now game. So I pause the game, go to game plan and then go to assign plays. And as you can see right here, Steph Curry, he has pick and roll point, three point isolation and handoff priority so these are the type of plays he has access to now there are situations where a certain player may not have the priority of the play that you would like to run for him so in order to get it to where he could have that play get ran for him you would have to do one of two things one you can change the priority as you can see right here you could just change all of these to whatever you want or to whatever the play is you can do that in pretty much all modes, except for my team. You cannot change the, the play priorities on the card in my team, as far as I know. Um, also, another thing you can do is use the favorite plays feature, which is something that I mentioned when I talked about it. So a perfect example of this is Clay Thompson. He doesn't have pick and roll wing priority, but Andrew Wiggins does. So Andrew Wiggins has access to fist 21 delay. But this play is a really good three-point play. It's actually one of my favorite plays. But Klay Thompson doesn't have access to it. So I can give him pick and roll wing priority. But I don't really want to do that. So instead, I use the favorite plays feature. And assign it to him. So, so I can put the play in. Assign it to Clay Thompson. And when I get in the game, I can press LB, call the play, and the play will run for Clay Thompson every single time I call it. So going back to next gen, as far as I can tell, you can't change the play priorities on a player. So the favorite plays feature is going to be more of a big deal in more useful here so as you can see right here i can cycle through the players but i can't change any of the the play priorities i can add plays to the playbook but like i said i can't change their priorities so if you want to run a certain play for a player you're pretty much gonna have to use the favorite plays feature if you're on next gen as far as i can tell right now 
So next, I'm going to show you how to call for pick and roll. So I'm back on next gen. And one thing you can do is hold LB or L1. And I think if you do it like this, by default, the center would be the one to come set you the screen. So again, I hold LB and then you can press RB to fade or roll and then the left analog to switch sides. But if you want a certain player to set you a screen, I'll press, I'll tap LB and then hold the button of the player. So I want a Giannis, I hold Y. I want Middleton, I hold X and yeah, like that. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it on current gen. Um, you can do the same thing, hold LB or L1. And I think by default, It'll be the center. Sometimes it'll be the power forward. Like if you stand like close to them. But it's usually just going to be one of them too. But if you want a certain player, tap LB or L1. Then positional play calling. And then hold the button of the player that you want to come set the screen for you. So now I'm going to talk about freelances and freelances are basically a set of actions that happen every time you come to court and most freelancers usually have like a handful of different actions that you'll see and the same actions usually happen when you stand on certain parts of the court and freelancers aren't necessarily designed to get a specific shot for a specific player. It's more so just to get some good ball movement and player movement and really good spacing and so that your offense isn't stagnant and you know where you're going to get shots from. So in order to call a freelance on next gen, you want to go to your offensive settings and right here you'll see freelance one, two, three and four. So you can assign a freelance for each one of these slots and this is good if you want to change your freelance on the fly so that you don't have to call a timeout in order to change it, which in current gen in 2K21, you can do. But on next gen, you couldn't do it. You had to call a timeout in order to change freelance. But now they made it so where you can change it on the fly. So once you set your freelances, you don't have to set all four. You can set however many you want, but you'll press right on the D-pad go down to freelance and then select the freelance that you want and then after that you'll press right on the d-pad press game plan and go to run freelance and on current gen it's pretty similar so again you go to offensive settings and then you can pick whichever four freelancers you want to use and when you're in the game press right on the d-pad lb for freelance sets and then Call for that freelance. And if for some reason the freelance isn't running, you can press right on the D-pad, press Y for a primary focus, and then freelance. So now I'm, I'm going to talk about series. And a series is basically just a series of plays that look similar, but they have little tiny differences between them. So the defense, they might think that you're running the same thing, but they'll get caught off guard by some slight different action that'll happen. So I'm on current gen and on next gen, the series are like kind of broken. Like uh, they don't work for some reason, but I'll still show you how to do it. But on current gen, you need to press right on the D pad, primary focus series, and then pick the series that you want to run. And it'll take a possession in order for it to like start. So as you can see right here, the first play of the series is Fist 21 Delay. Right here we got the Fist 21 Delay 2. Now this possession, we have the Fist 21 Delay 3. And now here we have the Fist 21 Delay 4. <laughs> and now we're back to Fist 21 Delay. So these two settings that I went over earlier, freelance series order and freelance series repeat, they have to do with series. So like I said, static would be, it'll go in the same order every time. Dynamic means it'll be random. 
And repeat on success means that if you score using the play from the series, then it'll repeat every single time until you don't score. And then it'll go to the next one. So now we on next gen. And again, you'll press right on the D-pad, go down to series and then pick whichever series that you want to run. And then press right on the D-pad again, game plan and run series. But for some reason, it's broken and it doesn't work. So I assume it'll be patched or fixed at some point. But yeah, that's how you do it. So that's pretty much it for the video. I hope this helped you. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content.